So look, again, shout out to Podboy. He has just been uncovering so much stuff. Yeah, Podboy's like on losing fire his mind this. going down a rabbit hole. This is from 2015. Polly Shore was the guest on Tiger Belly. Put it this way. I the has. only people that I truly like that I know through you are your brother. Steve is like a brother to me. Okay, I'm, how about and this? I like, Let's play a game. And I like Charlie. Let's play a game then. Okay. One through ten. Okay. Okay. This isn't healthy. I don't care. One through ten. Okay. Okay. Polly Shore. Oof, you went early there. <laughs> um, probably a negative 86. Oh. Okay, I get what you're saying that. So zero. Just say zero. A zero. Bobby okay. literally said just go to zero. <laughs> just go to zero. Okay. On helpful advice with Bobby Kalila. Now remember, she was talking shit about Polly Shore. Okay. Two years later, Polly Shore comes on the show. And Polly Shore. I'm a 27-year-old male who is really lost in life. I have a dead-end job, still live with my parents, one which has stage 4 cancer. Mm -hmm. I have no real friends and have never actually had a real girlfriend. I would say that things aren't really going well for me. I'm very socially awkward and shy, not talented or intelligent in any way. I wouldn't say I'm good-looking but by any means. Overall, I would say I'm a loser. I grew up Christian and all I hear from people around me is trust in God. And I feel as though everyone around me is moving up in life and getting married and being promoted at work. Also, I don't have a real passion for anything. Mm. Anyways, what should I do? You know what I mean? I've had a lot of girlfriends that I've been with that were not faithful to me. He wasn't trustworthy when I first met him. She's always just throwing him under the bus. By the way, why is she talking to Pauly Shore? Why isn't he? Th this is so weird. This feels like I'm watching like, like a cuckold situation. Like, but they're on a date. But they're all cuckold. <laughs> or not faithful to me. He wasn't trustworthy when I first met him. Dude, I'm gonna. Again, and she was. I, I'm pushing. We're, this isn't this. I'm pushing this theory because we talked about it the other day. I believe that she is the person that the Tiger Belly email that sent Brennan into a spiral and Kellen to a spiral, I believe she was the person doing that stuff. Oh, yeah. I No proof. I have no proof. No, I, I, but, I, I made that up in my head, and I'm like, yeah, that's I'm going with that. Because it, it makes the most it, sense. It's perfect. Yeah. It's just it fits her, man. At all. Yeah, but were you trustworthy? I by the time Based he Polly. said I love you, we want I want to be in a committed relationship. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. There was nothing, and I don't. Have you ever felt any type of way about? Turns to Bobby to defend her. Good, good catch, by the way, Pop Boy. Me. I love like what? straying. No. Now, <clears throat> leads to this. So remember our theory. So this is from um, too. This is from uh, too lazy to try. Check this out. This they just sent me this like while we were live. So we have Brendan Schaub's assistant slash handler, Mark, or most people know him as BGL. The guy recently decided Big to go on some line. Instagram rant, trashing Kalila. And this actually isn't the first time he's gone after her during all the drama. Now remember, this is the same Mark Carley that got uh, Brendan's whiskey brand kicked off of Instagram. <laughs> Smart. Good, good play. He kept taking shots at her. And also, he's gone after Theo, too, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So this guy just cannot control himself. Yeah, yeah. Did you know saw Mark Carley's been going after Theo, too? Mark Harley, because Brennan, I guarantee you, has been complaining about Theo to Mark Harley and complaining about Kalila. And Mark Harley's like, don't worry, bro. You can't talk shit, but I can. Guaranteed. Oh, he's doing Well, that's, that's always been the theory that we had is that he uses him as his proxy. Yep. And I'm sure Brennan's not too happy about this because he just wants to be drama free, it sounds like. But BGL, on the other hand, it looks like he wants to go back to war with Bobby and Kalila. So this is what he had to say on Instagram. A few months ago, I stated this person is a narcissistic sociopath in a reply comment on my own post. And people screenshotted it and posted it all over Reddit as if it was a wild accusation that reflected poorly on me. I got to know my first sociopath at 16 and have had significant interactions with a small handful since. I have never made an incorrect assessment of a sociopath and would only make a public accusation like this if I felt like I had sufficient information to make that claim accurately. And also, and I'm hearing it in big BGL's voice too. So I'm already, because you could yes. see yeah. So that it's in the public interest to do so because it's not obvious as yet to everyone around that person. Watch these videos and tell me I was wrong. So I thought this post was just hilarious for a number of reasons. So what he, what Mark Harley, 
posted XLP posted XLP's video, the one that we played yet, the one that we played yesterday. Oh yes. So that's uh, that's what I'm seeing here. That's that looks like what he's referring to, saying, "See, Kalila, look." And we agree, Ma be, be, a big gay lion. Kalila's a sociopath. She's crazy, but that doesn't mean you're not cringe, bro. That doesn't change anything. Yeah, you're still cringe, but we agree with you about this one thing. Yeah. I like how he's calling out Kalila for being a narcissist, but yet this whole post is just all about him and how he can accurately diagnose somebody <laughs> as a narcissist and a sociopath. A but maybe he's too lazy to try on fire, bro. By the way, may subscribe Wait. real good. By Wait, the way, go too lazy to, to try is great because even his voice reflects his name. Exactly. Like yeah, I got all this information, but like oh, I don't even care about it. Really, <laughs> Here you go. I don't even know why I know this stuff. Really, <laughs> <laughs> he's he rules, man. I love him. He puts in the work. I'll give him that. Be able to do that because he's one as well. And unfortunately, there is some truth to what he's saying here. I mean, if you watch these videos that he linked, it does make Kalila look like she is just out of control. But I feel like it's a pretty stupid idea for BGL to be posting this because I think it'll only hurt the credibility of these videos. Because like I said, Mark's not the most sane person out there. And I'm sure people would describe him as this stuff too. And also people might think that this channel might be working with Brendan or Mark possibly. Plus there's not much he's adding to it. I mean, I don't think he's gonna bring it. I don't think XLP is working with Brendan or Mark. XLP No, I think he's saying that it's gonna create that impression. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I misunderstood. Okay, yeah, because because honestly He's I, saying I, that Mark sharing it hurts that channel because right, like, okay. now people have to good, work. Good, good like, point. Oh, hey, so now XLP's gonna have to make asshole. a video being like, hey, you suck too, fucko. Yeah, in that many views to these videos, and the videos are already doing really well themselves. I mean, seventy-three thousand views after nineteen hours in this channel. You're welcome. Only has four. I'm kidding, by the way. Four point five thousand subs. I mean, that's really good. These videos are taking off. Mark isn't going to add anything to that. So I think if he really wants to see Kalila get exposed, it's better off if he just. I think a lot of people have seen Kalila get exposed. Stayed out yes. of it. Also, Including this isn't dogs. a good look because most of this star. She jerks off dogs when they called out Kalila for like harassing or like cyberbullying Brendan on the internet and now Mark's posting this kind of stuff it's just not going to be a good look for Brendan and also during the Tiger Belly podcast that Brendan was on Kalila brought up Mark and she said can you tell him to like knock it off he keeps going after me and no look you know what we should do this is a really good one so in this entire situation and I'm asking this because we've covered them all we've made fun of them all whatever in this entire situation out of, okay, Bobby Lee, Kalila, Brendan Schaub, Brian Callen, and Big Gay Lion, who do you think is the worst? Kalila. Kalila, right? I mean, it was easy. Right? That was that, easy. Right? Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely an easy question. Like, it's, it's, not, even, it's not even close. Here. She's leagues worse than them too. It's not even like yeah. Uh, like yeah, she's fucking horrible. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I I rarely use this function. And by the way, Rumble, you should add this. We already told them to add this, but I uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a um I'm gonna put a poll up, and we'll see what the we'll, we'll let you know what the what the chat has to say while we keep playing this. Brendan said he told him to take it easy because he's only making things worse. In the next coming weeks, however, I'm starting to see screenshots on Instagram of DMs of um, your cute little friend Mark confirming that you wanted to expose me. Is that correct? I didn't see them. You, know, you would we, know. But we, I uh, talked to uh, you about Mark you told and you, me conform, that. Yeah. you confirmed I, it with him. It, well, no, I went to Mark and said, dude, you're making things way worse for me. Okay. Because he's trying to defend me. I went, you're not defending me. You're making it Got worse, it. giving her f fuel and me and her are talking. You don't need to do this. So with this new post from BGL, I wonder if he got Brendan's permission for it or anything. I mean, he did, I did. I'm sure. By the way. After everything Big Gay Lion does, it's only because it's a, it's a, Brendan's allowing it. Yeah, Big, he serves at the pleasure of Brendan. Right, exactly. Doubt it, because I doubt Brendan will give him permission to do this, because I'm sure it's only going to hurt Brendan's and Bobby's relationship. He's the hand job of the king. Relationship even more, <laughs> and it seemed like they're kind of maybe starting to patch things up possibly, but if Mark's going to do this shit, then I'm sure it's going to just make things worse. And also, it just makes Mark look like an idiot because nobody takes him seriously to begin with. And also, it's just hilarious that he's calling someone out for being a narcissist when he's the one just adding himself into all this drama and making it all about himself in that. Because I can't imagine Brendan's okay.
internet. But is he is. But he absolutely is. And you and know what? Too, too lazy, lazy to try. Too buddy. lazy to try. You sound like a real S type person. <laughs> We're N type people around here. We're dead. The least we live like N types. We encourage our listeners to get drugs illegally and hormones illegally on the internet through the dark web. Yeah, that's us. That's us too lazy. Come on, bro. And one more, just a little, just a little cherry on top. This is uh, Kalila kissed Bobby Lee's producer. At the end of the most recent Bad Friends episode, it was brought up that Bobby's producer, one of his producers, who is also, I think, a producer I like for Trash this Tuesday. Is an avatar. I love it. It's great. It's Apparently, he was on the podcast and Kalila kissed him. So, obviously, Bobby wasn't too happy about that. But it's hard to tell how upset he was because I'm sure some people will say he's playing it up for entertainment purposes. But it does sound like Kalila might have a thing for this guy. Carlos, I think his name is. So, I'd imagine. So she is kissing somebody else that works with Bobby. Totally Imagine normal. Bobby is pretty upset about this because also she did it with a guy that he knows that he's friends with that works for him. And I'm sure they've known each other for a while. And also Kalila had some very positive things to say about him. So I think this is definitely disrespectful. One where Kalila... I got peer pressured. And what? Put the mic near your mouth. I want to hear and you what? say it. I want to hear you say I, what I you did. I got peer pressured. And what? It was just a little... And what? It was just a little dab on, like... Tongue? If this is Kalila... It, lo it looks it like her. It would, it would just be this. Okay, right, I'm going to watch the video. <laughs> oh, my God. And if it's not that... It, it is that, I promise. Be honest with me right now. I, I'm this is my one chance to tell her the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I said it. So, like... LA comedy, LA, LA comedy podcasts are just a series of people emasculating each other over and over again. I mm -hmm. don't understand this. Like, it, it seems like all the comedy comes from how sad they are. Instead of New York comedy podcasts, all the comedy comes with how much drugs they're on. Yes. Which I prefer, by the way. Yes. In every way, because that's fucking fun, you know? I'm going to say something right now. I kind of want to take a walk for Explain a minute. Explain with fire. That's the last pack you get. No, 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 no. No, no. How long like did this show run for? Not long, right? Like, they just kept pairing these people together. I think this like, show's this still on. This, this show's still on. It? Yeah. Bad Friends, it's... yeah. Do not let it go. Yeah, you're right. Do not hold it. And, and, and now warehouses for podcasters that look like those old cam whore warehouses they used to have. That's what this is, man. Son this. of a bitch. Yeah, there it is. You Mexican piece of shit. Yeah, hit him hard. Hit him harder yeah, than right, that. Yeah, yeah, that's not enough. Hit him hard. You balding, <laughs> mediocre. Pretty mediocre. good. That's great. Right? Get it going. Right. Lazy. Oof. Hit him hard. Um, and I know Bobby's trying to be funny, and I understand what he's doing here, but uh, you still look really bad in this. Like, you know? Yeah, I don't know if he's got, like, a humiliation fetish or something. You know what? Joking aside, bro, he actually might. Some people do, you know, where they get off on that. 